Welcome to week 10 of the 2018 NFL season here. We have an NFC West showdown now between two bottom dwellers in the division, the Arizona Cardinals and the Albuquerque Vipers. There weren't really big expectations for the Cardinals going into this season, but the Vipers are back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions, so losing three games in a row was something that no one expected going into the year. We are projected to beat the Cardinals in this game as we should. They're two and six with their third year quarterback now, Rocky Brandon, who has missed some time this season due to injury. He has four touchdowns and one interception. Z Cobbs over 400 yards, but not a single score for their lead running back so far. Hopefully our mediocre at best run defense doesn't give up anything to him or at least anything too big. Looking at the rest of their stats, their offensive line, not looking too great. Carlos Damsby back in Arizona, leading the team in tackles. He has two tackles for a loss. Cameron has seven sacks to lead the team, and Stevens with three interceptions. Looking at the numbers, our defense looks pretty suspect, but our offense is looking pretty good. Kind of the opposite story for Arizona, though. Their defense is actually all right, but their offense has a tough time picking up yards. They get the football to start off today's game. Z Cobbs with a pickup of four. They're going to give it to him again, and he's going to fall forward for a couple more. Early third down here for Arizona. They're going to give it to Hobbs, weaving his way through traffic right up the gut, and that's going to be a third down conversion for Arizona. Rocky Brandon looking to pass for the first time today, but the Vipers pass rush gets to him there. Triple J Jones brings him down for the loss of four. Third down and long now for Arizona. Brandon looking to set up the screen. He's going to get this out to Hobbs, but he's going to be tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. And Arizona's going to have to punt the football away to Albuquerque. Here's Orlando Cross and the offense. Now handoff goes to Ryan Franks. A nice burst right up the middle there for a pickup of six or seven. Faced with an early third down and Charles Phillips has the conversion. He's going to get out across the 40 yard line now. Already moving the ball nicely on this Cardinals defense. Cross has time in the pocket. Looking downfield for Jimmy Andrews, but the pass is going to be knocked away. That's going to bring up third down. Spreading things out, now going to that right side. It's Burt Myers. The UDFA continues to impress on this Vipers offense. Somehow he's become one of our best receivers. Ryan Franks on the run to the left side. Now gets a little bit caught up on his blocker and only picks up a few yards. Now faced with another third down, and Fitzgerald can't hang on to that over the middle, and that's going to make this a long field goal attempt for another former Arizona Cardinal, Brian Koch. This is going to be from well over 50 yards out, but he nails it, and that gives the Vipers the early lead. Brandon in the offense now looking to respond. It's going to be a handoff to Zeke Hobbs, and he's got some open room right up the middle. That's going to be eight yards on the ground there. Giving it to him again, but Daryl Fannin says no to that. Takes him down in the backfield for a loss of three. Faced with another third down, Brandon over the middle has got Maurice Weltley, and that's going to be just enough for the conversion. Coming out in the I formation, but looking to throw for this now. Brandon is going to be going down. Bernard Bailey this time gets to him. That's going to lead to second down and 13 after the big loss, but Zeke Cobbs has some great room, makes a move. John Kelly takes a bad angle, and he is gone for his first career rushing touchdown, and what a run it is from well over 50 yards out. And after giving up that big run, the Vipers offense faces a third down and 11 on the next drive, but Burt Myers is going to help us avoid going three and out, pass interference on the play. We're going to decline that and give Myers his yards. Now off of the play fake over the middle, Larry Fitzgerald does hold on to this one against his former team. That's going to get us out to midfield. Ryan Franks now on the carry, and he takes it right up the middle again. Some nice explosive bursts from him as he picks up four. Now Cross moves downfield. Wide open is Charles Phillips because of the awkward throw, though not quite a touchdown. Otherwise, it very easily could have been. But Franks is going to do it himself. Touchdown, Albuquerque Vipers, as he gets tackled into the end zone, and the Vipers take the lead. Cardinals offense back out here. This is going to be a toss play to the left now for Z Cops. He breaks out of a tackle and picks up about five more yards. That's already going to get him over the century mark on the day. This Vipers run defense just feels like it's continuing to get worse and worse throughout the year. Pass defense hasn't been great, especially now with Maurice Sanders out for a good chunk of the season as we give up a first down there. Testing the coverage downfield again, looking for Z Cobbs. That's going to fall incomplete. Hobbs getting involved on the ground game again. What a block there by his polling guard, laying out two defenders, but it's not even going to matter as the tackle was caught holding. Brandon dropping back to the throw over the middle. He's got Marshall Duncan into Vipers territory. He got wide open over the middle. The little white slot receiver playing some good football there. 
First and 15 after a holding call. This pass is going to be tipped up into the air and intercepted by John Kelly, the veteran safety. But there's a flag down on the field. They're going to get Daryl Fannin for roughing the passer. So instead of a turnover for Arizona, it's going to be an automatic first down. They do get caught holding on this play, though, so it's going to be first and 18, backing them up there. Passing the flat is nearly intercepted. It should have been. Linebacker should have got that one. Third down and long now. Brandon taking a shot to the end zone, but Gordon is there to break that one up. Fourth down and 18. This is going to be a 50-yard field goal attempt or not. Apparently, they're not comfortable with that, as the kicker is just going to punt this one away into the end zone for the touchback. Albuquerque faced with yet another third down early in on this drive, trying to avoid the three and out. Pass is going to be caught by Fitzgerald. He gets tackled close to that first down marker there. Fourth and inches on our own 29-yard line. Yeah, we're not going to go for that that deep in our own territory. Arizona back with the football now. Rocky Brandon shakes off one defender, but he can't get away from Daryl Fannin. That's the third time Albuquerque has gotten to the quarterback today. Play fake, looking to get to him again. Not quite able to do so, but we do force the incomplete pass. Third down and 11. Two running backs in the backfield. Hobbs stays in the block. Now Brandon launching this one downfield, and he's got a man wide open. Maurice Weltley gets down just shy of the 20 as Justin Williams gives up a huge play on that left side. That brings us down to the two-minute warning. Now Brandon with a quick throw over the middle. He's got Hawkins for a quick first down. That's going to set up a goal to go for Arizona now as they go up-tempo. Five wide, quick throw to the end zone, and it's going to be caught by Maurice Welty. Touchdown, Arizona Cardinals, as they're going to recapture the lead. Orlando crossing the offense, now looking to put together a two-minute drill to at least make this a one-point game and maybe even take the lead. And that's a nice start there as Burt Myers has that reception on the right side. Stay in five wide, now going to that right side again, and who else but Burt Myers into Vipers territory. Again, they're interfering with him, and it doesn't matter. He still comes down with a catch, but now he's going to have to exit the game, grabbing at his arm there, maybe something with his wrist. Hopefully, he can return to the game shortly. Cross looking for a big play on the left side, and he's got John Colton, the other UDFA from a couple of years ago. He goes upstairs and gets it. We're down inside of the red zone. Burt Myers looks like he will be back for the fourth quarter of play, so hopefully he will be. And now this run's going to get stuffed in the backfield, plus we get caught holding. And now Ryan Franks shaken up on that play. That is not something we want to see. Daniels, the rookie running back in the game, but Cross is looking to throw for this out the back of the end zone for Phillips. Second to goal from our own 16-yard line. Not our own 16-yard line. That would be a major mess. Luckily, it is Arizona's 16-yard line as that pass is going to be knocked away. Third and goal. Cross looking for the conversion. Taking a shot to the end zone. Colton's got it, but he's going to be marked down at about the one. Fourth and goal. The offense is going to be going for this, and it's the rookie Darren Daniels. Toss play to the right. Easy first career touchdown for him, and that's going to give us the three-point lead now as we go into halftime. The Vipers get the football to open up the second half of play, so now looking to extend our slim lead that we've got. Jimmy Andrews wide open in the flat there, spinning around and taking down just shy of that first down marker. Second and inches, Ryan Franks is back in the ball game now. He's going to go right up the middle, and it's not going to be much, but it is enough to move the chains. Give it to Franks again, fighting his way to the left side there, but the corner meets him immediately, still able to pick up two. Cross looking to throw, now rolling to his right and wide open in the flat. It's the fullback, Ron White, brought down at the 50. That is going to pick up a fresh set of downs now as the Vipers are looking to throw for this again. Cross going deep over the middle for Andrews, and they put a linebacker on him. Big mistake there by Arizona. Touchdown, Vipers. That's going to give them a 10-point lead here to open up the second half of play. What a throw and what a route by Andrews. Arizona trying not to fall too far behind in this one. They still have a chance as Z Cobbs is going to run this one to the right side into some open space. Another bad angle is taken and he is gone. Why are we letting Z Cobbs run all over us? A man who had no rushing touchdowns his entire career, his year and a half in the NFL, and we give up two long ones to him. And to make matters worse, we're going the wrong way on offense. Carlos Stansby with a big tackle for loss there. He will have to check out of the game for Arizona though is a little bit shaken up on that play. 
Franks is going to be picking up some positive yardage there. Most of that lost yardage he picks up again. Now on third down, Cross is going to be spun around, gets the pass out to Fitzgerald, but he's going to be a little bit shy of that first down marker as another Cardinal has to leave the game due to injury. We do get an update on Carlos Dansby and the linebacker will not be returning to this game, so hopefully that helps out our offense a little bit as now Zeke Hobbs is turning into Marshawn Lynch apparently, just trucking through people, shaking off tackles. This is unbelievable. How are we this bad at run defense that we're letting some bum run all over us like this? Here's third down in inches. They're looking to throw for it. Wide open downfield. Hawkins breaks out of a tackle. James is too slow. He's not going to get him. And just like that, the Cardinals have taken their lead back as our defense can't stop a bloody nose right now. Ryan Franks is going to get this carry, and he does take it up north there for a pickup of seven as we get an update on the other injured defender for the Cardinals. He's also not returning, so if we didn't have any excuses before, we really don't have any excuses now as we fail on another third down conversion and have to give the football back to the Cardinals, who can't do anything wrong on offense now. Z Cobbs, big run to the left side, gets away from John Kelly, and like the fourth man who has to get to him there, brings him down at midfield. He's over 200 yards. He is averaging over 17 yards a carry. This is unbelievable. Now Clark over in the middle. The tight end is even making great plays, picking up 8 yards. Rocky Brandon in the flat and he got a way with run there. That looked like it could have been a Dan Hampton pick 6. Instead, Marshall Duncan gets down to the 30. Play action pass now. It's going to be caught by Clark, the tight end, with another Cardinals first down. This is just such a rough watch of this Vipers defense. Hobbs is going to get the carry. He doesn't break off anything too big there, but he didn't need much to convert that third down. That's going to bring us into the fourth quarter now where they're just going to keep giving it to Hobbs. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, and it keeps working. Four yards on that play. He's going to take this one to the right side untouched for his third career touchdown and his third touchdown of the afternoon. Albuquerque now down by two possessions after being up by 10 earlier in the quarter. Cross looking for the big play there, but Andrews is well defended. Five wide, Arizona sends some heat, but that leaves Alan Graham wide open over the middle. That's going to be a first down for the Vipers. Eight minutes left to go in the game. Orlando Cross has a clean pocket over the middle. Von Lewis finally getting involved in this game, and he's going to get us into Arizona territory. Trailing by 11, Albuquerque looking to throw for this one again. Pass is going to be caught by Fitzgerald as he goes upstairs and gets it. What a play there by the veteran receiver. He has still got it. Cross with all day to throw over the middle. Who else but Larry Fitzgerald? He always seems to ball out against his former team. First down and goal now. Orlando Cross is going to sidearm that one over the middle. Right into the hands of Matt Kirkland, the linebacker. He had a guy open in the back of the end zone. But he's got to throw that like a full second sooner. That and also just a bad angle that threw it directly to the linebacker. And that could end up being the nail in the coffin. Especially if our defense continues to play the way they have. They have a chance to stand strong here on third and three, but instead they're going to let Hobbs fall forward and pick up the conversion. Give it to Hamilton, a little bit of a breather now for Zeke Hobbs, and even Hamilton is picking up some good gains. That's going to be three yards there. Third and seven downfield, and finally we get a stop on this Cardinals offense. It takes Darren Gordon, our best corner, to knock that one away. Looking to put together a little bit of a two-minute drill. We're not completely dead in this one, just mostly dead. That pass in double man coverage is going to be knocked away. Under three minutes left to go in the game. Cross under some duress, and he's going to stop and throw this one downfield. I thought he might take off and run. Instead, Ron White gets hammered on the play. Third down, Arizona sends the blitz. Pass the left side. It's going to be caught, but Ryan Frank steps out of bounds on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down on our own 13-yard line. Offense is going for it, and Myers back in the ball game, and he's got the fourth down conversion, keeping our slim hopes alive. Trying to get a couple more plays off here before the two-minute warning. Over the middle, it's going to be Larry Fitzgerald spins off a of first contact and into Cardinals territory, as once again, we're going to go hurry up and try to get one last playoff here. Heck, maybe even two before you hit that two-minute warning. That pass should have been intercepted. Oh, man, that was jumped early. You read cross like a book there. That does stop the clock, though. Cross rolling to his right, testing that double man coverage downfield, looking for Jamie Andrews, easily batted away. Third down, Arizona sends some more heat, but a quick throw out to Isaac Kaufman. The third string tight end is going to get us out to the 33-yard line. 
we do finally hit that two minute warning cross looking to the end zone here and it's going to be in and out of the hands of colton in double man coverage Five wide again now. Cross is going to step up into this. We're over the middle. He's got Alan Graham down inside of the 10. Goal to go Albuquerque. Can we actually convert this time and not throw an interception into the end zone? I guess that's better than a pick, but definitely not ideal. Taking a sack in that situation. Backing us up to the 15. Cross looking to the end zone here. It's going to be caught by Colton, but they're not going to say he got in. Down at the 1. Third down and goal. Quick throw is going to be... Probably should have been intercepted on the play, honestly. Cross got away with one there. Fourth and goal. We're going to be going for this. Looking to throw over the middle into some heavy traffic and knocked away. This offense is just having such a tough time scoring once we get down into the red zone, at least our last couple of trips. And the Arizona Cardinals pull off a huge upset over us, sending our losing streak to four in a row now. This is not what you expect out of back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions. Obviously, we can't necessarily be expecting a three-peat. That might be a touch unrealistic, but we were hoping to at least punch our ticket into the playoffs relatively easily, especially in a division that hasn't given us too many problems as of recent. But no, the Niners and the Seahawks both look like they're good. And, and the Cardinals are only a game behind us now as we have four wins on the year. And they now have three after pulling off this upset. Looking at the numbers, I mean, Cross did throw for over 400 yards, as we saw there. Defensively, the numbers are kind of there. We got three sacks. We should have had interception that got taken back by a penalty, but we had such a tough time scoring, especially in the second half. Looking at some other big games this week here in Week 10, the Philadelphia Eagles look like they're back to their glory days from early on in this series when they won the Super Bowl against the Colts, 28-22 over the Houston Texans, who are one of the best teams in the AFC and have been to the last two Super Bowls. And the San Francisco 49 Niners take an even bigger lead now in our division as they are 6-3 and three on the season. And the Minnesota Vikings, I mean, they weren't really that competitive with San Francisco in this game, but it's nice for Vikings fans to see that they are not the worst team in the league anymore like they have been the last couple of years. Another team in our division beating down on an NFC North opponent. It's the Seahawks over the Lions now as they are tied with the Niners on top of the NFC West in Detroit, looking like a playoff team sometimes and today, not so much. The Cincinnati Bengals were the last winless team in the NFL going into this week. Winless no more though as they take down the two-win Carolina Panthers 18-13. It wasn't pretty, but at least they will not go down in the history books as one of the worst teams in NFL history. That's going to be a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like is always appreciated. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey.